You may know Durham as one of the world's most prestigious universities and a centre of learning. But on one morning four years ago, it became the place where a group of Iranians arrived to be put in contact with Americans. It was designed to be research, but it became the concern of agents and their governments discussed in secret cables and dissected in interrogation rooms. For the first time, we have obtained copies of that research project. It shows that in 2008, the university applied to the American Foreign Office for hundreds of thousands of dollars to research Iranian life. Durham wanted to bring Iranian officials and high-profile academics to the Northeast. The aim was to open ways for Dayton, confidence building and ultimately cooperation, and expose Iranian society to Western-style democracy. In short, it was a way to set up a continuous programme of communication. Dr Reza Malavi was a professor in the department at the time. He is Iranian himself and knows firsthand about America's tense relationship with Iran. The university was satisfied that the project didn't compromise academic autonomy. But when he saw the project, he was worried the US was using Durham to recruit sympathetic Iranians. What were your concerns about the program at Durham? Well, it was portrayed as a simple program for academic learning to even uh, build bridges between Iran and US and beyond and the West. But inherently, uh, the, the, the sort of questions that were raised and the sort of uh, people that were invited looked more like uh, targeting, uh, a planned targeting uh, from beforehand and, and, and other purposes beyond academic learning. And it seems the US government did have its own interests. A confidential US embassy cable published by the document website WikiLeaks alleged that diplomats known as Iran watchers considered one professor in Durham as their key contact. It says they were impressed about the political cover that Durham was able to generate. In other words, they thought they could use Durham's project as an excuse to meet useful Iranians. Despite Dr Malavi's warning, it went ahead. A year later, Iranians began arriving and Dr Malavi became increasingly unhappy. He resigned and decided to return to Iran. But to his anger, he was the one who ended up being arrested and interrogated by Iranian agents. He spent 13 months in one of Iran's worst prisons and answered questions about Durham. You've been interrogated in Iran. Do you think that was because of the decisions that were made at Durham University? Uh, it is very difficult to uh, point a finger at Durham University and say it was only because of Durham University, but many of the questions during the interrogation was based on the revelations that Durham University had uh, organized a seminar, a conference, and, and as far as the Iranian government is concerned, St State Department is no different from uh, an ally and collaborator of CIA. Did you feel angry towards Durham? Yes, yes, I was, I was quite uh, shocked and taken back. For three years I wasn't able to see my children in the UK and I wasn't able to see my wife uh, for four months in, in one stretch. So yes, uh, you're angry. We asked Durham whether they thought they had put their academics at risk and they said they take their duty of care very seriously and have procedures in place for people travelling overseas. We also asked them whether this project went beyond academic learning and they said they expect their staff and students to debate ideas vigorously and that one of their key principles is that of free speech. They said that that in turn helps build mutual understanding and respect to help create a better world. We played our report to a North East MP and member of the Education Select Committee and he said America's involvement is worrying. Well, I'm always very concerned if another government is interfering in what we do in this country. And, uh, you know, when you have the State Department admitting in a cable uh, revealed by WikiLeaks that uh, they like what they can achieve through Durham University, I'm very concerned about it. It's hard to know whether the project did build mutual understanding at the highest level or whether there are still Iranians in touch with Americans due to Durham's project. But it shows how one local study of politics and government can end up being the concern of governments themselves. Dan Ashby, ITV News, in Durham.